forest is a type of forest that grows in dry, sandy soils. And it's characterized by not much of an understory. So you can see I can stand here pretty easily. It's very open. Uh, there's a lot of low growing plants, but nothing too tall. And last but not least, a pitch pine barren is dominated by pitch pines. The difference between pitch pine trees and other pine trees is this scaly bark. You can see it kind of almost looks like dragon scales. Pitch pine trees are really, really cool because they actually need fire to reproduce. So this bark on this pitch pine tree looks really chunky and scaly. Uh, it's really, really tough bark. So the fire can hit this bark and the tree is protected and it will not die in the fire. Uh, so that's why this tree is all blackened uh, because it's undergone fire. Uh, but this tree is still alive. Once upon a time, wildfires were common on Rhode Island's landscape, so pitch pine barrens were more abundant around the state. But nowadays, if there's a wildfire, we put it out because there's a lot of people who live here in Rhode Island and we don't want any wildfires raging in anyone's backyard. The problem with that, though, is that eventually, when you stop fire long enough, these types of habitats start to shrink. And we're very concerned about that because Pitch pine barrens are so important for a lot of different wild animals, like pollinators, a bunch of different birds, and reptiles use pitch pine barrens. So we want to provide that habitat for them, but in a safe way. To conserve pitch pine barrens, habitat biologists, foresters, and fire crews work together to do what's called a prescribed burn. They carefully set a controlled fire in the habitat, and then they put the fire out. The habitat looked like before the burn, and we can see some pitch pines in there, but there's a lot of oaks and a lot of white pine. So if we didn't burn this area, all of our habitat would start to look like this. Really thick and no pitch pine whatsoever. Whoa, hi Gabby. Hi, it's a little crowded in here. So the burn happened here in 2018. And already you can see all of this new growth coming up. We have some scrub oak coming up right over here. And then over here at my feet, we have some lowbush blueberry. And a lot of pollinators utilize lowbush blueberry. And some, like the frosted elfin, actually need pitch pine forests. They can't survive anywhere else. The first trees to come up are these birch trees because they love the sun and they love this open habitat. In a few years, about 15 to 20 years, this forest will grow up even more. And then we'll have to burn again in order to reset this habitat back to its original first stage.